Hey guys, this is Uncivil Engineer from SkylinesPlanningGuide.com. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to create um, the icons for the uh, custom assets. I've been making a lot of them for my highway pack, and so I'm going to show you the process. So we're going to come in here under Tools and Asset Editor. We're going to make a new one and just pick any theme. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my asset and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done making it. Just hold on a second. Okay, so I have my custom piece I'm a, I want to save. I'm going to first take a, a snapshot. I'm going to come down here, hit this button. And then as soon as I click left click, it's going to take a snapshot. And that's it. Now I'm going to hit escape. Go and save my asset. Go ahead and give it a name. Okay, so now this is the time where we have to um, pick a, um, a tooltip and a thumbnail. And so the best way to do this is to have these created ahead of time. Um, and the one thing you need to know is that the tooltip image needs to be 492 pixels by 147 pixels. The thumbnail needs to be 110 pixels wide by 100 pixels high. And so I've already done that in another, um, I've already done that ahead of time. So now what I want to do is I want to go and pick those images. So I'm going to click on the folder. And I'm going to browse, I'm going to alt tab on my computer. And the thing the other thing you need to do, you need, they need to be the right dimensions. So again, asset thumb, that's the thumbnail. It has to be named exactly that way, asset underscore thumb. I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight, right click, copy. I'm gonna jump back, alt tab, to this folder. It are automatically popped up when I went to hit that folder icon. And now I'm just gonna paste in those two images and I'm going to say yes please copy and replace the the default ones. Now you'll see they have these other ones that are um, used for when the button is pressed or or disabled. See, let's see this one is for disabled that one is when it's used you know it changes the color this is when it's hovered on, and this is when it's pressed. Now we don't we don't have to make those; it'll automatically create those for us. So um, once we get this pasted in, just go ahead and close that, and let's jump back to our game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the description later. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just hit save. And that's it for that one. Now if you were to continue and say new asset it does a weird thing in that let's just make something random here when you go to take your screenshot take a screenshot go to save, you'll notice it kept the image from that first session. So instead of continuing making new assets, I usually will close out to the main menu and then get back in and make a new asset. And that way it clears that cache for the, um, the image. So asset editor new.
So we're going to make a new asset, hit photo, hit save, and you'll see it only has that new photo. So I, every time I make an asset, I close out to the main menu and then get back in just so that it doesn't deal with that. Now if you did have the two, say, actually let's just take another one. Another way you can do this. Take another photo. The other thing you could do is you can say save asset. Now it has the two photos and if you want to get rid of one you could hit the button here little folder icon go in and delete to right click and delete that first photo and then close out that does the same thing so you actually don't have to close out all the way to the main menu but I just find that easier so that's usually what I do and uh, that's about it so um, just make sure you use the right dimensions on your tooltip image and your thumbnail icon Make sure you use the correct naming convention, which is this asset underscore thumb dot PNG or asset underscore tooltip dot PNG. And if you use that, then you should be all set. You should have a, your custom icon. I use, I use uh, GIMP. To, uh, it's a free program you can download online. Um, but whether you use Photoshop or whatever, um, whatever your favorite graphics software is, just go ahead and use that. But, uh, but it's definitely easier to have it done ahead of time so that you can just copy-paste them in. And anyways, that's about it. Uh, for more tips and guides, check out skylinesplanningguide.com. Thanks.